Before we get into the video, I wanted to let you know that fellow Notion certified consultant Nick James recently released a tool that is called Notion ERD that you can find at notionerd.com that does what I explain in this video out of the box and with higher quality. So it creates an entity relationship diagram from your Notion workspace automatically. And all you have to do is connect your Notion workspace and give access to this tool to create the ERD that you want to visualize. So check it out if you're interested and you want an easier and more high quality way to visualize your Notion workspace. If instead you're still interested in how to DIY this, you can keep watching. And now let's get into the video. The fundamental question of this video is how can we create an entity relationship diagram that is a diagram just like this one here that you're looking at on the screen that connects the databases and allows people to visualize the relations between databases Basis from Notion. And the reason why this can be an important use case is that sometimes you might have a Notion workspace that already has many databases because you went into implementation without structuring the system beforehand. And now you feel a bit overwhelmed in terms of how things are connected or not connected with each other. And so you want to understand a bit the structure. And so in this video, we are looking at how you can efficiently retrieve all the relation properties among databases in Notion using the API. In particular, we're going to use Make for this implementation, but you can use any other API tool out there like NA10, Pipedream, possibly Zapier with some custom code, or you can also use Postman, for example, or any other way. And secondly, how you can then feed that information into Notion AI, for example, or into a dedicated AI tool for diagramming as well to very quickly generate this kind of diagram that gives you a lot more clarity on the structure of your Notion workspace. So let's get into it. And the first thing to know is that in order for this to work efficiently, all the databases that you want to retrieve need to be in the same page. So get a page in Notion, put all the databases there. Like in this example here, I have this call setting toolkit and in here there are some databases. So the workflow of this automation is first I want to retrieve the content on this page. Then I want to only continue for the content that is of type database. So that's a block type on the Notion page when you use the API. So for each child database type, I want the automation to continue. And then I want to map out the relation properties within each of those databases. So let's go into make and see what this looks like. In this specific Notion page, there are four databases that you can see. Goals, micro actions, goal action tracking, and random rewards. So these are all related together. And here is the make scenario. And the first thing that I do is list page contents. So that's a module that I selected here from make, from the Notion app make. And within list page contents, I want to insert the specific block ID from where I want to retrieve the content. So in my case, because my databases are nested within a callout block, I want to actually retrieve the blocks within that callout. So I'm not going to use the page ID for this, but I'm going to use the parent block where the databases are nested. So if my databases were outside, like here, for example, then I can just grab the page ID from the URL string. But in my case, because these are nested here, I need to grab the ID of the specific block that is the parent where the databases are stored. To get the ID of this colored block, I'm going to select these six dots, then select copy link to block. Then I'm going to go to make, for example, open the module. And here I'm going to paste, and you can see that's a URL. So I'm just going to delete everything until the last hashtag include it. And that's the ID of that block that I want. Then I'm going to hit OK. And next step, I'm going to continue if type is equal to child database, because that's the API representation of a database block in Notion. Then I use the Notion module get a database so that we can get the structure of each database and retrieve only the relation properties there. So for that, I'm going to map the page content ID from the previous module that is right here. And if you're setting this up and you do not find this parameter in your output ready for mapping, then you can just right click on the first module, make sure that you do run this module only so that you ensure that it works properly and make determines the data structure that allows you to then map that value into the subsequent module. So once you've done that, you have the page content ID, you can map it out here. This will retrieve the database structure. So meaning all the properties, property types, IDs of the properties within each database. Then there is an iterator and the iterator is a way to loop through the results of the get database because the get database will output an array of values, meaning the values will be nested within an array. So with square brackets, you're going to have many properties. And so we want to iterate on each property so that we can then only continue for those properties of type relation. So you can see here the iterator iterates through the properties parameter from the picker. The properties parameter is right here. That is an array, as you can see here. Then there's a filter here that says only continue if type equal to relation. That's the API representation of the relation property type. And then I'm using the set multiple variable tools 
that you can find here under tools set multiple variables and in here i'm going to set one variable that is called relation and for this relation i'm going to map the child database title from the trigger module so this one is here right there because i want to get the database title for example goals then i do a colon and that's just my preference just to map out the relations then space and the name of the property that's related to that database so that is mapped from the iterator and then i select name right here so for example in my case goals that is the name of the database is related to action tracking and that's going to be one of the outputs and finally i'm going to aggregate the text so that i only have one single string that maps out all the relations in this fashion with the name of the database colon and the name of the related database right there so for this i just uh, source module is the least page content so that we only get one output the row separator is a new row so that each relation mapping is on a separate row and the text that i want is the relation variable that i set on the previous module so let's run it and let's see what the output looks like you can see here there are multiple bundles because there are multiple databases and then at the end of it there is only one output and when i open it i get this text and these are all the relations that i have so i can just Control c to copy this text and then what i could do is i could go to notion if I have Notion AI, for example, and I could say something like space, and then here I already did it, so I'm gonna reuse the same prompt. Generate an ERD and the tape relationship diagram, knowing the following database relations, and then I list all the relations by pasting them from the make output that I just copied on my keyboard. And I'm gonna do run. This will generate a mermaid diagram, also with the correct, also with the correct cardinalities, which, however, I found that it's better if you check them and you can adjust them. So because that's a mermaid block in Notion, you can either preview it. So in here, if I accept the suggestion from Notion AI, this will actually add the diagram into my page and then I can do either preview or I can do a split, for example, where I see the code, but I also see the diagram here. And if I want to edit the cardinalities or the language that is used here to associate the different databases, then I can do that freely in here. And that will be reflected automatically in the entity relationship diagram. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.